Welcome back to my channel my darlings. Today's video is going to be all about wishing to travel <laughs> and um, seeing as we cannot travel at the moment I decided to celebrate those countries that I've been inspired by and each of those countries I've taken 10 countries that I would like to visit or I find inspiring and I've taken their national flower and I've gone through my whole perfume wardrobe my whole perfume collection to see if I could find that beautiful flower that represents that country within my perfume fragrances and my perfume collection now so some of these fragrances I didn't even know had <laughs> some of these amazing flowers you know it's absolutely amazing so i'm going to go through each country like i said i've got 10 countries to go through and i'll be celebrating your national flower so i'm going to get straight into the video because i don't want it to be too long so let's get started so the first country um, and i'm going to try my best to okay so i've been so during lockdown I have been trying to brush up on my language skills and I've been doing a little bit of foreign reading and so I've been trying my hardest to learn <laughs> um, and brush up on my second language so I'm going to make an attempt for each of these 10 countries to say something a phrase <laughs> in that language now you guys have to help me out okay and if I'm saying it right give me a thumbs up if my accent is perfect then definitely subscribe and if I need a little bit more practice leave a comment down below and then help me out okay <laughs> so the very first country I'm going to start off with is Poland now for Poland let me try and say this and tell me and and give me the translation like in the comments let me know how I'm doing so I'm going to try my best to speak a little bit of Polish right now. So it is Witam na Mayam Kanale. <laughs> How did I do guys? <laughs> so this is Poland. Now the national flower of Poland is called the red corn poppy. Now this beautiful red flower, I found this ingredient and this note in my poppy and barley fragrance by Jo Malone so this fragrance to me represents Poland as it has and it contains the notes of poppy and barley so that is wonderful so that's my poppy and barley there so the next country I'm heading to is Canada now Canada is a country I would like to explore and discover it's extremely scenic and beautiful and their national flower is the maple leaf now going through my perfume collection I couldn't find a base note containing maple leaf or something similar from those woods so the closest thing I could do is find fragrance that would remind me of their national flower and that's maple so I'm thinking maple maple syrup something sweet so I've chosen here Mistyore to represent Canada now Mistyore contains a bit of caramel as a heart note and I thought this would be lovely to represent Canada so that's my mystique the next fragrance now the next country I'm going to is India now India their national flower to represent their country is the lotus now lotus is a flower um, that I couldn't really find what's a note I couldn't really find within my perfume collection but doing a bit of research lotus smells a little bit like it's very similar to jasmine it has the same sort of scent or very similar scent so I thought this perfume would represent India's national flower and this is jasmine rouge as jasmine is very similar to a lotus flower and also you have jasmine tea and India is famous for their teas so this is the fragrance I will be representing India so that's my jasmine rouge oh wow it's gorgeous <laughs> so that's my jasmine rouge to represent India and then the red color and everything it just 
suits very well so that's my jasmine rouge now the next country oh i didn't say anything in in hindi so i've chosen to speak a little bit of hindi today and it is namaste mere chennai me apka swagate so let me know <laughs> what i just said there and tell me how was my accent was it okay <laughs> So we are heading to France now. Their national flower is the iris. Now, the beautiful iris. Now, I have found a wonderful perfume to represent the national flower of France, and this perfume contains iris. But before I show you the perfume, I'm going to start by saying Bienvenue sur ma chaîne. <laughs> How was my French? <laughs> okay, so. The perfume I have is my Chance by Chanel Autonde. This contains iris. Oh, this perfume is so powdery and soft and fresh. It's very pleasant. Perfect daytime scent. Perfect. I love this fragrance. I haven't worn it for a while. Um, I, I need to wear this. It's so pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. Right. So that's France your national flower is contained in this beautiful bottle and how perfectly fitting it is by chanel as well so that's just perfect right so the next country we are going to is a country i would like to discover um i did have plans to visit this country this year um but maybe next year now <laughs> so the next country we are going to is romania now romania I'm going to send you a message here. So it is, let me just get this ready. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Salut, bun venit la canal mayo, miu. Right, so in Romania, their national flower is the, um, it's the dog rose. The perfume I have chosen to represent the national flower of Romania is my Maison Francis Kurt de Jean, and this is Oud Satin Mood. Now, the reason why I've chosen this is because the Romanian national flower is the dog rose, and that's a type of rose. And this flower contains two types of roses, beautiful, vibrant flowers. And this fragrance, you can just smell the different layers of rose mixed with the oud and vanilla. It's such a beautiful, elegant, powerful fragrance. And I thought this would be wonderful to suit Romania's national flower. <laughs> That's the closest I could get to a dog rose because I couldn't find specifically a dog rose in my perfume collection. So that's my Oud Satin Mood. Now, my next fragrance is... The next country we are heading to now is the Philippines. So we are heading off to the Philippines and I couldn't find um, a, a phrase for you um, to, to share in, you know, so I'm just going to say hello and welcome to my channel, all of those <laughs> from the Philippines. And if you are watching, a big hello to you. Now your national flower, which is beautiful, it's the Sambac Jasmine and I have a lot of perfumes containing this beautiful ingredient this base note is wonderful so the flower i have chosen for you is the flower did i say the perfume <laughs> so the perfume i have to represent the national flower of the philippines is this beautiful fragrance and again one of my favorite fragrances it's hypnotic poison now this perfume has sambac jasmine as a heart note Oh, it's so creamy and lush you know it just smells like a pudding a dessert it smells like the autumn it smells like Christmas it's comforting oh I just love this fragrance so you've got lots of jasmine infused in this wonderful perfume and this is my take on the national flower of the Philippines so that's my hypnotic poison now my next country we are heading to is Germany now Germany is their national flower is called the Siani or Siani, which is a cornflower. And um, cornflowers have a very light 
sort of like green peppery note to it. So I'm going to show you the perfume that I've chosen to represent that. All my lovely viewers in Germany, the fragrance I have chosen for you is, oh, I'm going to show you that in a second. My message to you is, Willkommen in mein Canal. So yes, Willkommen in mein Canal. So yes, my German, I need a bit more practice on that one. <laughs> so the perfume I have chosen to represent the national flower of Germany, which is the cornflower, is my Penhaligon's Elenicia. Now this perfume has a very peppery note in the opening, but it's only very slight. And I thought this would be a good way to represent the cornflower because the cornflower has a green earthy but very mild peppery note to it. This perfume does not contain any cornflower but it has that essence of that, that sort of green peppery note on the opening. Yes, it's got this peppery opening, sort of fresh and green at the same time. So that's my Elenicia to represent your national flower. Next is, we are heading to Greece. Now, the national flower of Greece is called the Bear's Breach. And the scientific name for that is called the Acanthus mollis. Now, I couldn't find this flower in any of my perfumes within my collection, but I did a bit of research and they said that this flower is only very slightly scented. It's more or less non-scented. Um, so the only way I could think of a, a scent to represent um, the beautiful country of Greece is by, <laughs> don't laugh at me, but it's by one of my favorite desserts. And this is a dessert that is sweet and honeyed topped with roasted almonds or roasted nuts. It's actually a dumpling or a donut and it's called Luca Mardes and I absolutely love it. And I thought, well, the only thing I can find to represent Greece within my perfume collection is a perfume that contains some honey and to represent their dessert of Luca Mardes. So the perfume I have chosen is my Nectarine and my Nectarine Blossom with honey. And this is by Jo Malone. And this has a sweet fruity honey scent it's beautiful and um, it's very fresh and you've got the peach notes in there it's beautiful yeah it's gorgeous this is my nectarine blossom and honey so i thought this would be lovely to represent greece so that's that one there i do <laughs> i do have a, a message for you in greek but it's just gonna sound terrible <laughs> I'm never gonna try it. I'm... So the next country we are heading to now is Italy and Italy's national flower is the lily. So this perfume that I have to show you contains um, lily root, which is orris root and also the lily petals as well. And this fragrance is my Michael Kors perfume this is the original edp version i love this fragrance it reminds me of holidays <laughs> and it smells a bit coconutty and vanilla it's lovely a little bit woody as well um but this perfume contains lily so this is my representation of the italian national flower of lily and the last country I'm coming to is Nigeria and the national flower of Nigeria is called the yellow trumpet. Now I did a bit of research on this flower as well and it's really interesting how this flower grows. It's amazing because it looks like the, let me tell you the scientific name, it's called a Costus spectabalis and this flower is so unique. It looks like a water lily. So you know like on a pond you have the big pond lilies, big water lilies and it's sort of like round, almost scalloped leaves um, that grow in a cluster and then you have like a 
single flower growing in the center and this flower is yellow and it looks like a trumpet um, but instead of the lilies being on the actual water it grows on woodland so it's so unique it's really cool and unique I might insert some photos so you can see what this looks like it looks amazing so it's set in in, in woodlands and then you've got the lily it look, well it looks like a lily and then you've got that single yellow flower growing through so in the national coat of arms the flower is represented there I think by the red version of this yellow trumpet um, so the flower is available either in red or yellow and I thought this flower um, would be represented by a perfume that I have. So the perfume that I have to share with you to represent Nigeria would be C. Um, and this lovely fragrance has a very fresh fruity opening, it's got some black currant in there and then it dries down to a vanilla but in the heart of this perfume we do have some woody notes we have a bit of patchouli we have some amber and vanilla and I thought that sort of woody like notes that's in this fragrance should represent the woods that the national flower grows in because it's amazing if you look at the pictures it's like woodlands and then you've got like lilies growing on the ground and it looks like it should be floating in water but it's actually like floating on the ground it's really interesting anyway so that's my C by Giorgio Armani to represent Nigeria so those are all the wonderful national flowers that I have gone through for all the countries that I've been inspired by or I had intended to visit this year um, so I thought that would be my way of traveling through my perfume collection um, so I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope you learned something new today I hope you all found this interesting and discovered something new about these wonderful countries and uh, I did try my best to share a bit of my language with you <laughs> my language skills so I hope you enjoyed this video today I wanted this video to be informative I wanted to share a bit of knowledge about different cultures and countries and just sharing a bit of information with you all and just to talk about their national flower now flowers are so important in perfumery and the oils that are extracted from from flowers and I wanted to share these wonderful flowers and these countries just to inspire us all and give us a bit more information I wanted this to be fun and informative I did try to speak a little bit of your languages <laughs> I hope I didn't do too bad um, let me know in the comment section below um, how I did I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers I'm almost there I just need a few more so hit that like button keep subscribing keep liking and commenting and I wish you all a wonderful day thanks for watching